What's going on, everybody? Metalblade427 here, and I present to you Let's Play Mega Man Battle Number 2. In the last episode, we are leaving Netopia, but not after beating up on some higher version navvies first. Uh, there is one thing I forgot to do <laughs> before coming here, and that would be to go actually continue the trade sequence on in Netopia Square. But I've gone this far into the airport, I cannot go back. Sorry. We'll get that done, and I'll show that later. But until then, let's just go home. A lot happened on my first overseas trip. It was pretty rough, but at least it was memorable. Bye for now, Netopia. I'm sad to leave, but I'm sure I'll be back someday. The plane will be landing on Electopia soon. I was only gone for a little while, really. But somehow it feels like it's been years. I wonder what everyone's been up, uh, wonder what everyone's been doing, which again, I'm sure is supposed to be a question land. I can't wait to see everyone again. Oh wow, that was a that was a quick trip. Nice. All right, well, back home we are. Yay! Man, we we're waiting for you to get back. We all heard about your adventures in Natopia. What's wrong with you? Yeah, Mel. I thought you'd be happiest to see Land back. Welcome back, Land. Hey, why the glum look, Mel? She's been worried sick about you, you big dummy. I was so worried, Land. Uh, hey, not so close. Dex and everyone's watching. Hey! Woohoo! Look at the two lovebirds. I'm never letting you go away again, Lan. Mail. This is your captain speaking. Our flight is currently on schedule. We've crossed the international dateline, which means we'll be arriving at Den City Airport at 7.45 a.m. today. I hope you enjoy the remainder of your flight. Haha, <laughs> see what the game did there? Ha, <laughs> it tricked us, ha. Ah. Oh, male. Mm, I am your cat speak. Ugh. <laughs> okay, Lan, what direction did your dream just take? Like, really? This is a kid's game. Uh, huh? Where am I? In the airplane. Where else, sleepyhead? You were talking in your sleep, Lan. <laughs> Mail? Oh, Mail! Oh, I can't wait to tell anyone. Hey! I didn't say anything, okay? So don't you dare! Ah, just kidding. You awake yet? Yeah, I think. What time is it, anyway? 11.30 a.m. It's almost time for lunch. Hey, Lan! Let's ask if we can see the cockpit. I'm not sure they'll let us just walk in like that. Sure they will! We just have to ask them really nicely, because that's exactly how that works, Mega Man. Sure, why not? We could tell everyone later. Oh yes, that's right, we can just walk right into the cockpit and be like, Hey guys, can we see everything? Yeah! I'm pretty sure that's how people get arrested nowadays. Anywho, we're on the plane, yada yada yada. I'll explore around in a moment, but you can talk to some people. This guy right here will give you a repair L. There's no reason for it other than just to get it for him. I'm never going to use it. Here's the kid over here that we tried to talk to before. And he still won't talk to us, but this is economy. Because, you know, land can't afford anything better. We've got the bathroom and the places where all the uh, employees go back there. You can run around and talk to people, but you don't have to right now. You kind of have to later. Here we are in business class, going here and checking the area for crew members. Can't see through the curtain, but there's something lying by the curtain. <gasps> it's an age for memory. Alright. 620, so make sure to grab that. Uh, walking through here, we have a few important people to notice. This guy right here is a doctor. We will talk to him later. This guy right here is an entomologist. Means he is a bug guy because he was in Tobio for the World Bug Symposium. Very nice, good for you, buddy. And this guy over here is the same guy we saw um, back in the airport. I'm the famous president of Gauss Inc. I'm taking a secret Electopian vacation. Normally I'd be riding first class. <laughs> good for you, buddy, good for you. But he can't ride in first class because now we are in first class and we realize there are only two seats in first class. So that is ultimate, ultimate leg room. We have this old woman here who has nothing better to do with her money, so she just rides first class. And we have this guy who just wants the free drinks. And here is the captain's area, which we can run wild around in and no one will stop us, so let's talk to him. Excuse me, but would it be possible to see the cockpit? You're already here, Land, so you're, you're kind of past the whole may I come in stage. Sure thing, kid. Wow, this is cool. What an awesome view you guys have. Pretty cool, eh? I saw a cockpit once when I was a kid. And that's what made me choose to become a pilot. Wow, it's like your dream came true. <gasps> it's so inspirational. 
Looks like we hit an air pocket. Better go sit down. Yes, sir. Thanks for letting me up here. Come on, Len. Let's get back to the seat. There is no purpose behind the hurry up music. Like, that was... That was just a pointless change in music because of an air pocket. Ugh. Your attention, please. We apologize for the bumpy ride, but it looks like we're through the worst of it. The captain has turned off the seatbelt sign. It looks like the turbulence is over. Good job, Mega Man. Way to be observant. It's almost time for lunch. Wanna walk around first? Yeah, sure! Actually, no, I don't, but you're forcing me to. So, now you have to go through and talk to everybody. This is, I guess, to make sure that you met the people you needed to meet for the storyline to proceed forward the way it's supposed to. But I'm gonna tell you right now, this is the worst storyline in the game. Hands down. Like, ugh. This is so pointless. So pointless. But if you talk to the doctor, you'll find out that he is Dr. Iron Fist with the amazing power of the Iron Fist. I wonder if you know, like, you know, martial arts and Shaolin monk techniques and everything. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Huh? Huh? I hope so. But yeah, so that's the doctor. Don't forget about him. Got people that look like other people, you know, character models that we've seen over and over again. Ugh. You have to talk to everybody. You have to, or not the chair. Talk to the guy. Thank you, Lan. But otherwise that, it's like, it won't go anywhere unless you talk to everybody. And Mr. Gas talks about the high power, one of the kind, high power program. And then he laughs at us. That That's ominous. Again. Again, as if they don't point it in your face anymore on people that you will be encountering during various actual story segments. Uh, Alright, so we got this guy who's drunk, who's talking about the bug guy, who apparently is creeping his way around first class and wishes that he could be there. When? It's almost 12. Time for lunch. Guess I'll go back to my seat. So running from my seat to forward and now back to my seat. Good job, storyline. Way, way to keep it interesting. No more. No more. I'm stuffed. I'm totally stuffed. Wow, man. You must have been really hungry. This plain food is a lot better than I expected. You ate plain food. Oh, boy. Ten minutes later. Oh, yep, there it is. That's what it does to you. Never do it. Never. Never. What's wrong, Lan? My stomach... it hurts. Serves you right for picking out. No, serves you right for eating plain food. So when your stomach's hurting you, where do you go? That's right. To the bathroom. Yay! Thank you, random storyline, for pointing me in places that I don't want to go. Ugh. I was helping this man with his luggage and a big spider. What kind of spider? Where did it go? It was all black and hairy with fat legs and red eyes. It went running off, but it's probably no big deal. I'm not so sure about that. Yeah, any spider that goes running off is a big deal to me. That That's when I grab shoes and paper towels and start hunting. Lan, did you hear them just now? A spider covered with black hair. What if it's poisonous? That would be bad. Real bad. Maybe one of the passengers knows about bugs? Hmm. Someone who knows about bugs. Thank you, Lan, for putting the dot 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 behind it as if, you know, us as the players should have already figured out where we were going by now. Alright, guy that knows about bugs. Very interesting fact, though, that I will point out while we talk. Anything I can help you with, Sunny? Um, I'm looking for someone who knows about bugs. Knows about bugs? Don't insult me! I know so much about bugs, they call me the Encyclopedia! Haha, <laughs> I see what you did there. Well, then I was wondering. Do you know any spiders with fat legs and black hair? Well, spiders aren't insects, but I know a few like that, which is what I was getting at before. Yes, we were asking about bugs. Spiders are arachnids. They have eight legs, not six. Way to put that education to use, Lan. Way to go. Henceforth why he, you know, is always late and really bad at school. Did it have any other notable features? Uh, oh yeah, it was really, it had really red eyes. Ah, that's an easy one. Lives in Natopia, that one. Red-eyed woolly spider. Really? That's the name of it? Y you would think he would at least give us maybe, like, the technical name, like Spidonis Rubius Arachnoidus Woolius. I don't know. The red-eyed woolly spider. Yes, it's quite rare, you see. Easily identified by its thick black hair and red eyes, hence the name. And it's incredible lethal poison, which should have been part of his name. If a person is bitten, they freeze up in a few hours. Oh, uh, and screaming. What was that? It came from the seats in the back. Lan, what if... 
Mega Man, let's go! Right on! Thanks, mister. My pleasure, Sonny. If it's about bugs, I'm your man! But not spiders. Spiders are arachnids, not bugs, not insects. What happened? A spider a bit... Ugh. Oh no, what should I do? Mega Man, find out if any doctors are on this plane. Roger. Yet really makes no sense, because if you hit the L button to talk to him, he asks us. I don't know how Mega Man really would do anything to find out if there's a doctor on the plane, which is pointless. But going back to us talking to everybody, we find out about Dr. Iron Fist. Emergency, where's the patient? By the laboratory. Got it. I need to get ready, so go over there first. Charge up the Iron Fist! So we're gonna run back and forth during this story segment. Ugh. I found a doctor! That should do the trick with the Iron Fist! Is he going to be alright, Doctor? I think so, but he should rest until we reach Latopia. He appears to be in shock from the poison. He was bitten by a spider. A poisonous spider on the plane? Why didn't you tell us? Sorry, sir, you see, we didn't know it was poisonous because we don't run background checks on spiders. Well, no point picking on the stewardess now. Ugh, some people, I swear. First things first, we got to catch that spider. Except I have to look after this patient. And I'll go catch the spider. You'll catch the spider? The poison us spider? No problem. The bug guy can help me find him. Okay, you're on the job, and try to be discreet. People find out there's going to be max panic. Panic means lots of injuries, so be careful. I'll be looking after the patient in the back. Good luck, kid. Right on. And so with all the luck and power in the world, the doctor leaves it in the hands of an 11-year-old boy to go catch a poisonous spider that obviously almost killed a man. Bug guy, tell us about arachnids. I'll tell you the truth, sir. What do you mean by the truth? Such and such, which is basically us telling us the whole story. What? A red-eyed woolly spider! Shh, not so loud! Oh, sorry, sorry. Say, you wanna catch it? Let's set a trap. Round up the materials to make a trap. What kind of trap will you set? It'll be a surprise. Here are the necessary materials. Some kind of box, a stick, and some string. And some whiskey! Wow, what a... That, that's going to be a very interesting trap with that list of ingredients. Why whiskey? These poisonous spiders like the smell of expensive whiskey, but only expensive whiskey. Cheap whiskey drives them away. It smells the pheromones they emit for mating. Hey, I think that happened at the bar last night. I got you. Anyway, a box, a stick, string, and whiskey coming right up. Once you find everything, come see me again. It's up to you. Alright, so now we are on a fetch quest hunt for those four completely random items. Uh, Alright, here we go. We're going to sneak back into the cockpit without anybody knowing, and we're going to go over here, and we're going to steal the hat. Haha, -ha, we took your hat. Run away. Now we're going to go talk to this guy. This is where we're going to get the whiskey from. This guy is so drunk that he is going to give an 11-year-old a bottle of whiskey. Which is, again, I'm pretty sure illegal, but apparently in the Battle Network universe, things like this happen all the time. However, he is going to test us. He is going to rhyme for us, or attempt to rhyme, and we have to mimic him back. So here he goes. One, two, one, two, three. Yo! Chicky, chicky, baby. Make me go kaboom. Can you ditch it, lady? Oh, my love fire. Coming to you soon. That's freestyle, kid. No, no, it's not. It, it's actually really, really bad. At least in my opinion. Alright, so now we have to mimic him back. So, first thing he says, Chicky, 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 chick, baby. Make me go kaboom, because that's not suggestive. Can you digit, lady? And this would be your Toad Frogman response. Oh my love fire as one word, not lovely fire or lively fire, just one word. And it's coming to ya soon. I, I don't know how many times I kept clicking coming for ya soon, but whatever. And we did it. And he gives us whiskey. Thanks, buddy. You, you're a model adult. Giving a bottle of whiskey to an 11 year old. Good good man. Support underage drinking. Yay. Uh, Alright, now we're going to head over here with our bottle of whiskey in hand and talk to this old woman here. She's going to go on and on and 
on about these stupid chopsticks. And I understand that apparently it's something to do about her dead husband and this, that, and the other thing. I don't really care. I'm, I'm, I don't care. Just give me your chopsticks. I need them. Thank you. And the last thing that we need is actually back here. The stewardess has it. You need a rope, yada, yada, yada. But in her pocket, she has thread. We're looking for rope. She gives us thread. The amount of thread that she possibly gave us to compare to rope, what are you doing with that in your pocket? Like, really? That, that's a lot. <laughs> a lot of uh, string-type materials to have. So we have everything. Let's talk to Mr. Bug Guy. I got all the materials for the spider trap. Already? Shall we set the trap? By the way, where is the spider anyway? And she screams. A spider just ran in the first class. First class. We're off, son. Really? Gonna go catch it? You know what? In a situation like this, appropriate saying would be, I have had enough. I have had enough of these mother spiders on this mother plane. I've also had enough of this mother storyline in this mother chapter. Ah, let's go. Everyone, there's a dangerous spider in our midst. We'll catch it, so just follow my lead and please move. What did he say? You serious? Oh my god. And so we set up the trap. And now we wait. Now we play the waiting game. Look, it's here! Wow. I mean, in, in all comparison, if you're going like size-wise and perspective and whatnot, that's a huge spider. Like, that's a big spider. How, how, did, how did that get out and not get killed already? Because if I saw that, oh man. She would be out, and things would just be going crazy. Mission accomplished. Sorry for the scare, everyone. Thanks for your cooperation. Thank you, sir. Huh? It was a walk in a park. Or first class. We trapped it. Good job, Land. Completely ignore his joke. Which was bad anyway. And that's it. A few hours capturing the poisonous spider. We actually get the actual storyline for the airplane chapter. Oh, man. This is the most pointless, pointless waste of time ever. This is the most pointless episode ever. This is, I just hate the spider. The, the spider subplot to this. Oh, man. I mean, it makes a little... S no, it doesn't. Actually, I don't even think it really comes back into play. In, in, uh, whatever. It doesn't matter. Rate, comment, subscribe as they ask you to do in almost every YouTube episode. I thank you for putting up with this episode. I tried to make it as entertaining as possible, even though it was a horrible, horrible subplot to this chapter. In the next one, we'll actually be getting into the meat and potatoes of the airplane section and finally getting home. So, until next time, everyone, thank you for your patience, and I'll catch you all later.